In this lesson, we are going to create a backend API to return an array as a categories to use in the front end. At the end of this lesson, we will be able to create an API at this address localhost column 5000 slash API slash categories and it returns this array which contains objects about categories. Let's implement this feature together. Here is the plan to create a backend API for categories. What we're gonna do here is to create a new file in the root of the project and set the file name to server.js. Inside server.js, we are going to use Express to create a simple web server to return categories to the front end. To do that, first of all, define express equal to require express. It means that we are going to import express package. To import it, what we need to do is to create a new terminal. And while we are in the root folder of this project, we need to install Express. After installing this, we need to create a new file and set file name to data.js. Inside data.js, we are going to create categories array const data equal to an object. And this object has categories as a field and categories is an array and this array contains objects each object is a category name of category let's set it to beverages and set image to slash images slash beverages dot jpg we need to create a beverage icon and put it inside public slash images this image and the other images other three images are going to be in the git repository of this project and the link of it is in the description of this video i'm just going to copy and paste it from my computer but you can find it in the git repository paste them here beverage breakfast and burgers Let's save this file and create another object for breakfast. Set the image to slash images slash breakfast.jpg. And the last category is burgers. And the image or icon of it is gonna be slash images slash burgers.jpg okay that's it about data at the end use module.export to export it like this we are using es5 export model instead of es6 because the server of this project is super small and simple and there is no need to use es6 version of javascript to implement it Let's go back to server.js and here it's time to import data from dot slash data. Next step, create app from Express. We are going to create a web app at this point. And for web app, it's time to define a route app.get. So when user enter slash API slash categories, we are going to run this function, create request and response as a parameter of this function. And in the response of this API, we are going to send data.categories. Data.categories is coming from where? From data.js and this object great the last command is gonna be listening to a port let's define port 
we are going to get port from environment variable so it's going to be process.env.capital port if it does not exist listen to port 5000 and the last command is listen function on app on express app the first parameter is the port number and second parameter is a callback function that will run on successful connecting to successful launching web server i'm going to console log this message serve at serve at http column slash slash localhost colon and port change it to template literal to use the value of port here save it with only 14 lines of code we created a simple web server that return categories when user enter this in the url to run this server we are going to use nodemon nodemon is a package to develop javascript code without restarting the server open terminal npm install no demand and don't forget use save dev parameter to install it only in development phase not in production if you go to the package.json here you will see dev dependency no demand the next command in the script section we are going to add a new script let's set the name to server and we are going to use no demand and only watch server.js when there is a change in server.js we are going to execute this command node server.js run server.js on node server put a comma at the end and save it here is the script of server open a new terminal and test it npm run server let's see what we get great we are getting serve at this address keep control or command and click on it to open it in a new window you will get this error message it's not important slash api slash categories is what we want categories and press enter you will have this result it means that you successfully created a web server that return list of categories at this address if you don't see it like this formatted you need to install json viewer package find json viewer json viewer chrome extension just type this in the google search box and then you will be redirected to the json viewer chrome extension to install it on your computer okay that's it about this lesson what we did in this lesson is to implement a simple web server using express.js we created this api to return list of categories we are going to use this api to create this list list of categories on the left side of self-order kiosk until next lesson which is gonna be listing these items bye bye